All right, we are here after a fabulous, fabulous concert by Joyce and Jackie, and uh, we're gonna get to meet the, the artists a little bit here. Like I said at the beginning, normally we would go over to the reception room and mill and people would talk and things would be great, and we can't do that right now, but we're gonna do this. Um, so, and I gotta clue you guys in, I, we've known each other for a long time, so this could get out of hand. <laughs> it could, it could. Um, so how long have you guys been singing together? Oh, 1980, 88, 88 or something like that. 88, 89, how did you, did you meet, are you both from Atlanta? We're, I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Georgia, Swainsburg, Georgia. Swainsburg, okay. So, so where did you meet? We met in college. Spelman College. Uh, woo -woo. You met at Spelman. Yeah, yeah, we met at Spelman College. I was a music minor. I was a music major. She was a music major. And um, you say you like me, come on, give me a short. Sure. But, no, give me the long story. Okay, long story. Yeah. Long story. Okay, so I joined the Glee Club, mm -hmm. and uh, Jack, Jackie. I was, already remember. She was a member of the Glee Club. I joined. I was a newcomer mm -hmm. on the block. Yeah. Yeah. So we were on our way to on tour. New York. New York. Lincoln Center. Yeah. And I was sitting by my lonesome in the with the Glee Club, and I was sitting on the bus. I felt sorry for her because I was pretty popular. When I was in the music department. Of and, course, and so, of course. Um, I was, you were a music major. Exactly. She was a, she was I was a minor. minor. Just a minor. Yes. yes. Just so, a minor. Um, and I, you know, I saw her sit by herself, and so I went and sat next to her. Thanks. And, started talking. <laughs> and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the rest is history. And the rest so, is that was sophomore year, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, sophomore year. Okay. Yeah. And so, really, after that trip, you guys started just kind of playing together? Or no. No. That's when we met, actually. Okay. We, okay. We, um, we, we just became friends. We didn't start really playing together, honestly. Um, after grad school. After grad school. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, I went to Tufts University for my master's. And so we, there was a, one of Tufts is, was one of the stops on the Underground Railroad. And, and so um, we were asked to sing. Yeah. Uh, that was at Boston University. Yeah, we yeah. were asked to sing, Tufts is better. We were asked Boston to better. sing. Yeah. Um, uh, a spiritual, uh, I think it was Wade in the Water or Follow the Drinking Board, but we were asked to sing um, for that. Yep. And so that's how we started singing together. Yep. They're like, wow, that was, that was really nice, you know? And, and so we started singing. One thing that, that's always been so amazing about y'all is how t tuned in you are to each other. Did that come from the beginning? I mean, was it pretty. Okay, pretty so, effortless from from the beginning. So can I have? Oh, you mean singing wise or just the chemistry? Well, okay, so we the went, whole thing, chemistry, everything. Well, when we got to New York City, uh, we were sitting at a re we were at a reception afterwards, and you want to tell the story? Of course, I'll go ahead. I'm pretty good at storytelling. You are. I'm just joking. We're but um, um, but anyway, I was uh, okay. we were sitting at the table, and and there was a great big Gail Goodwin, Gail Goodwin. and and she was so awesome, and so. There was a salt and pepper shaker. And so I don't know why we started doing this. And I was like, here's the pepper, here's the salt. And George was like, that's right, here's the pepper, here's the salt, here's the pepper, here's the salt. So every time I was like, which one is the salt? And it would be, I would get it right every time. The salt was white and the pepper was black, of course. So it was really easy. So Gail Goodwin was like, this is crazy. She's like, that's the salt, of course. We're like, no, it's not. That's the pepper. That's the pepper. <laughs> so we just kind of, I don't know, we just kind of, I don't know. And it's been like that ever since. <laughs> Yeah, it's been that chaotic. And yeah, yeah. we knew what we were talking about, but nobody else was like, that doesn't make sense. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said that. So, so, so as you guys, as you guys are coming up, who who were you listening to that you admired as musicians and artists? I loved Nina Simone. I loved Marian Anderson because mm -hmm. I, I I just loved her voice. Um, and just just so many, um, so uh, uh, Rita Franklin. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yes, yep. I yep. love Nina Simone, and I love Beethoven. I love classical music. I um, also love Odetta. Mm -hmm. I love Richie Havens, mm -hmm. um, the Bob Dylan. Uh, I love those guys. Um, you know, growing up, and of course, um, Hetty Jackson, people like that. My mom, my dad, everybody—they were musicians in my house. So mm -hmm. yeah. 
Do you come from a musical uh, family as well? My mom sang beautiful, yeah. beautiful voice. Yeah. And my dad sort of, but it wasn't musical. I mean, we had music in the household all the time. She would play the piano and I would sing, uh, I, I, something buttercup. I'm calling it a buttercup. That's all. And we would sing that together all the time. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see, Jackie. I know that aside from being an extraordinary musician and guitar player, that you are an extraordinary painter. Uh, other passions that you have? Is that? Tell me about your painting. Are you well, still doing that? I still, yeah, I yeah. love to paint, and um, I've been doing some wooden sculpting, kind of. I mm -hmm. love that. She made flowers for me for my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I love, but I, I love uh, painting. Is is probably my biggest passion and um, I'm learning other instruments like the banjo, ukulele and just ah, and like I love gardening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love gardening. Yeah. Yourself. I love to garden. I have a nice size garden, flower garden. Yeah. And uh, I love to quilt. I'm learning how to quilt. Oh, wow. I made several quilts. I gave her mom or made one for her mom. Mm -hmm. And I love doing crafting stuff. I just, you know, those are passions for me. They relax me. Working in my garden really relaxes. Yeah, 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 it's a passion. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's amazing what a little sunshine will do. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Um, okay, you guys, one last question. I want to know because you've been playing together so long. I want to know best gig, worst gig. You don't have to name the place. Just what what was good, and what was bad. So we were, and I want to tell you ahead of time. They said, "Do not say this." Gig. I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> we had to do a fest. Uh, uh, it was a festival, mm -hmm. and I think it was in somewhere weird, obscure place. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> when we got out the car, we began to walk down this winding path. And we got out the car, we were like, "Where are we?" Because it was a like a beach. It was a lake. Yeah. And when we got there, they were folding up the Confederate flag. And we were the only black ones there. Right. Okay. So. Okay. No, hold on. <laughs> but. Hold on, hold on. And the lady who had us to come was in Paris. She was not there. She was in Paris. She was France. in Paris. Paris, France. Yes. Who, who invited oh, us. Okay. okay. So not like Paris. Oh, yeah. She was in Paris. Oh. Whoopi Goldberg first. Yeah. Okay. And so um, we were coming. We were walking down the path and there was some other gentleman walking past us. He said, oh, Whoopi Goldberg. And we were like, oh, my God. Who are we? So oh, like, we went on down. Hey. Hey. Like, so we went on and we sat down. And then the, there were people there who knew us. And they were sitting at the table. They were like, who, why are you guys why are you here? Like, <laughs> and who invited you all here? What are you doing? What are you here? doing here? That's what they told us. So we were like, oh, OK. So so that kind of was scary because those people knew us. And they were asking us, what are you doing here? Yeah. But let me tell you this. Can I tell you yes. Oh, well, so yeah. I'm going to tell you this is a great part. Um, so there were children. And, and I love children. I, I love people in general, but I love I love kids. And so Joyce loves kids too. Um, Thanks. But um, but we were um, there walking with our guitar, kind of a little freaked out, you know. Yeah. Like, and, mm, no, no. Yeah, we were freaked out. And so, um, <laughs> but the children came, and they surround. This is we're not making it up, but they made a circle around us. Yeah. Wow. We didn't say a word. Uh -huh. The children came and they made a circle and they were just, you know, just, you know, oh, I love your earrings. They're so pretty. Just, and they made a circle around us. Yeah. All right. And so then the concert. The now concert. we had not even started the concert. Yeah. So we did the concert. And we into the night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> night. 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 So um, we did the concert and then we did, uh, I think one of the last songs we did was, I thought it was Dance Matilda. Oh, I thought, I thought I had a hammer. Okay. We did, yeah, we did. If I had a hammer with people playing the instruments. And they started getting into it. And then we did Dance with Tilda. And people got up and started dancing. And then it just became just, it was just so easy. So what turned out to be, may have been our worst gig, turned out to be our best because at the very end, they thanked us for being there. I mean, like, they were like, thank you, Joseph Jacob, being here. Yeah. You know? But she's leaving that a lot. I mean, no, no offense. But um, so what happened was we actually, if I had a hammer with Joseph, the last song. But this, okay, but this is significant because there were these guys standing, those big speakers, there were these guys standing there, they were yeah. like this. Yeah, the, the bouncer guys. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, what are you doing here? But you could tell, they did not, they were like, you know, we were smiling and singing and they were like, yeah. and so anyway, 
um, as, as you know, and we noticed they were coming closer. The more we would sing, they would come closer. And by the end, because we, we did, if I had a hammer, we had everybody take out, we used to take out, you know, keep mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. up right. And then those guys started singing and participating. And, and they came up closer. And at the end, those were the ones who were like, who clearly did not want us there. Mm-hmm. And they said, thank you, George. And so um, that that's what was so significant to me because th- those were they did they were clear about we do not want you here at the end. So. Yeah, so it all changed. It became maybe our worst mm-hmm. and became our best because we just saw that transformation in that one moment. Moment. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it transformations really awesome. have a, a, a habit of taking a long time, don't they? They so do. They have it right in front of you. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. a big deal. But the children at the beginning, it didn't take them any time. Yeah, and they knew of course. they were there. I mean, that's the beauty, that supernatural, spiritual, yeah. the yeah. spirit of God was there in those kids because they're they hear Him. You know, they hear good, they know good, they love Him. They just came and just surrounded. Yeah, they sure did. And I mean, that was big. Yeah, you know. yeah. Well, thank you um, for surrounding us with your music. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And and your your spirit and. Uh, just such a gift, and we're honored to have you share it with us. And thank you for being here. And thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you. It's Jacqueline Howard and Joyce Williams. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Be safe. <laughs>